Hello and welcome to jobskillshare.org. In this video, we are going to discuss our new roadmap for our premium members. This is called Practical Cybersecurity Training Roadmap. And basically, the whole purpose of this roadmap is to give you technical experience towards cybersecurity roles. When we talk about technical roles, of course, we would like to cover some of the technical side of this type of training. So then it doesn't matter what type of position you come across, you're going to come across the similar type of technical requirements. For example, we're looking at this role, which is an entry-level cybersecurity role. They call it a computer network defense analyst. They can call you cybersecurity analyst. Many different uh, names are out there, and that's going to be geared towards the companies or their business structure. But you're going to come across network scanning, using Snort, Linux, vulnerability systems, finding patches, all that sort of stuff, You know, finding vulnerabilities and systems and fixing them. Or maybe you're working for PCI, scanning some, somebody's networks and making sure that their networks are uh, you know well protected and giving them solutions and all that sort of stuff you you are going to need that technical side if you want to become more confident by looking at these roles and you're going across different type of roles and you're like finding out different titles yes there's going to be a lot of differences on how companies want to use you but at the end of the day if you know a lot of these technical skills then most of these roles comes under your umbrella and you can just learn little things to target a specific role and then once you go to the company they will also respect that you have the technical capabilities to become a cybersecurity professional so it's not something they have to teach you from scratch and that is where a lot of people uh, don't get the job because somebody have done that homework before you so this is exactly what we are trying to achieve from our roadmap we want to make sure that you are capable uh, of all of these uh, technical sides of uh, cybersecurity. For example, from this whole roadmap, which is very practical and hands-on, you are going to learn about the red teaming and blue teaming, SOC, web application security, network security, firewall, and incident response management. You're going to learn all of that. So after completing all of our hands-on labs that are provided in this roadmap, you can go for penetration testing, you can go for incident response spe specialist, security analyst, SOC analyst, web application security expert, uh, network security engineer, blue team or red team member. Now, when we say expert, of course, you're not gonna go and target a very experienced jobs. You're gonna still look for the entry level jobs in all of these areas. But as you can see, when you go to Indeed, it really doesn't just say penetration tester. In some cases they do, but it's a mixed match of everything. And like I said, it's up to a company how they want to title it. But if you cover all of the things that we have covered to target all of these roles, then this means you can really apply to almost all of these positions if they're entry level and they're accepting people who they would like to train. But of course, they want to train someone who have the technical skills already. And that is what we are trying to achieve from this specific roadmap. Before getting started, let's talk about the prerequisite. You will go to jobskillshare.org website, click on the membership. You will need premium membership for prerequisite and to getting started with cybersecurity practical training. Once you log in, you will access our portal or you can click on the dashboard. Inside our portal, you will see roadmap listing. Basically, roadmaps are a collection of courses and labs tailored for specific roles. Now, the prerequisite for cybersecurity is the fundamental or the IT support skills. So if you're brand new to IT and you're getting started for the first time, we're going to recommend you starting with the modern IT support career roadmap. You're going to come over here and you will need to finish the courses in this roadmap, especially the part one and part two course, because you need to learn about domains, DHCP, DNS, how a business network works before you get into cybersecurity training. Now, if you already know the fundamentals, DHCP, DNS at the basic level, Active Directory, and you're already working as an IT support professional or any other careers, and you would like to get into the cybersecurity practical training, you will come down to roadmaps. And here you will click on cybersecurity skills practice only roadmap. So you're going to click on start journey, and this will open the roadmap for you. And you will click on a button on the top to start the roadmap. Then this is the 
map that you need to start so basically we have the cybersecurity fundamentals the first one and basically this is a practical learning and that is exactly our goal is to make you hands-on ready so you're going to go ahead and click on this and it's going to open the lab and it has modules and learning material everything inside so there's no videos in this because we want to get this hands-on so let's go ahead and launch the first module in cybersecurity fundamentals it's about data security so let's go ahead and launch this one you can see you will have everything for you over here getting started learning outcome and everything step by step the lab duration and some labs may be just theory and just information for you so for example it's all about data so you're just going to learn about what is data and that's just information uh, for you to understand and learn but as soon as you go into more uh, uh, second modules things are going to get more technical so let's say for example configuring endpoint security you're going to see introduction to malware so let's go ahead and launch that lab so in this lab you can see introduction to malware and antivirus applications and when you click to the next then you will see a lab topology the labs involved in this uh, type of uh, lab and that's why the fundamental training in the beginning was really important because right now you can see these machines are connected to a domain and if you're brand new to IT and you're doing this for the first time you wouldn't know what domain member means work group means these things are very important so if that's clear you see that we have exercise number one uh, malware basics and it's going to explain everything about type of malware trojans and things like that then we have the exercise number two and it's going to explain all that stuff in exercise number two as well then we have three and then you can see it's uh, information a lot of information and then it gets to more practical uh, uh approach like let's say i've asked free antivirus and then you're just going to have a step-by-step -step information for you and you need to follow that to be able to get that hands-on uh training done so of course for when it comes to fundamentals you probably will come across many labs that may just have information and not much to do in the systems and that's important when you're learning fundamentals you probably need to understand uh, the information first before you get into more hands-on approach so this first fundamental lab even though it will have a lot of labs for you but you may also expect a lot of data and you know information for you to read uh, before you get to some labs in this type of training so the first fundamental lab will take you about 20 hours to finish as you can see the learning outcome uh, is going to be introduction to cybersecurity, basic data security concepts antivirus concepts wireless security email security basics basics user administration backup and recovery social networking and security concepts and that is just to get you started and warming up in this practical area of cybersecurity. because you have premium membership uh, as soon as you become a member you will have one year access so you'll have uh, access to this lab for one year so it's a long time of course we want you to finish these labs quickly and not take whole one year because you do have to finish all of other labs inside this roadmap so the next lab that you're going to finish is CompTIA Linux Plus which is very important for cybersecurity professionals if you're going to get technical with cybersecurity and you're going to use systems for pen testing and any other uh, systems then Linux is super important and that's why we're using the brand new Linux certification with new labs everything is brand new in this so once you get to this lab it is going to teach you a lot about Linux and you will see that you can then manage Linux very effectively uh, and you can actually go over your lab guide and this document will be available to you as well so you can go over what is being covered in this lab as well same like any other lab uh, when you become a member that is going to be a part of your access now the third course is going to become a little more technical this is where things are going to get a little more serious when you get into uh, cybersecurity. now you have done fundamentals of cybersecurity. you have done linux and now you can actually get into more advanced systems like kali and and use the actual uh, tools that that usually you saw in the beginning of that description where you're going to see a lot of tools so this is why it's intermediate 12 hours long lab and as you can see it is designed for CompTIA cybersecurity analyst positions and that covers many other positions as well so what you're going to learn from this is that systems and network security implementation concepts you're going to learn about threat intelligence and threat gathering concepts 
techniques to determine malware activity, identifying and analyzing malicious activity, tools for identifying activities, attack methodology, frameworks, vulnerability data analysis, uh, incident response, uh, and other things. So, of course, this is, a, this is a little more technical lab. And once you get into this lab, you're going to play around with the rail system. So let's go ahead and open this lab and just to demonstrate how you're going to perform this lab as well. So you're going to go back to your roadmap. As you can see, you can directly open the lab from here. So when you finish the 100% of your roadmap, you're, it's going to show 100%. Your map will move forward to the next destination, and that is going to be a Linux. So let's say you finish Linux, and now you get to the point where you want to do this lab, the 003 lab. You're going to click on it, and it will automatically open that lab as well for you. So when you start this module, at this point, like I said, you're getting into more hands-on with the tools that that really makes a big difference on your resume so for example in this exercise number one log collection with splunk now be because you have done the fundamentals because you have done the linux this is where you're not getting uh confused with more advanced things like splunk so you will use the same process by clicking on launch the lab once your lab is open you can go ahead and turn on all of these machines and at this point, you will know uh, how to actually manage this lab because you have done the fundamentals with us. You know how to deal with these labs or connect them, troubleshoot them if there's any issues. And here's the objectives and everything given to you. And you can see these are brand new machines, domain controller, um, all of that. So we have 2022 server being used in this lab, Windows 11, brand new Linux distributions. So let's say you're doing this lab by by following all step-by-step -step information right here and then opening uh, an application. And if there's any issues with this application or this lab or this device, then you as a premium member have also support available. So you can click on this icon right here and you can directly send them a message, screenshot and the issue. And then if you're following the lab guides, not something from your own, if you're following the 100% the step-by-step lab guides, you will get a full 100% support. If there's any issues with the devices or things like that, they will also support it. But what we will not support or this support will not support is that if you're trying to learn something new on your own or trying to bring something from internet and try to use that, then this type of support will not be available. That is just uh, for you to try. You can definitely use these machines for your own purpose, but you're not going to get support if it's not uh, shown in these steps. It has to match the step. You have to complete what is given to you in these modules uh, in the documentation. So as you can see, this lab kind of goes into more advanced things like PowerShell, Linux devices, uh, you know, network asset detections, and many other tools that you can use on your resume uh, for uh, basically getting a better, um, uh, you know, look onto your resume and getting those skills because all of these things that you're going to come across here is going to be really important for you to become more technical. Um, and then uh, going after those jobs, you're going to come across th these type of uh, tools or devices um, very, uh, you know, um, frequently. After 003, we're going to get into more targeted type of training like red team and blue team. Now, this is very important because in some companies, they may title it for only for red team type of uh, uh, skills. And when you have this lab, you can talk about as a red team professional. I did Wireshark Essentials. I did, you know, network scanning. I did, uh, you know, Metaspoil, things like that. And uh, if they're talking about blue team, so you can talk about patch management system, you know, scanning, patching, uh, all of that stuff, network monitoring. So you can talk about that because you have done this lab and that is more because if, if a role is based on that, then you really can use your lab towards that. The last lab as a premium member that you can use your access is pen test. Now, this is going to be the last one because now you know everything about Linux, Kali, different type of tools, systems, vulnerabilities. And at this point, you just want to basically learn the skills of attacking the systems and finding vulnerabilities by using different methods or different tools. And that is, of course, very important if you're going to be getting hired by a company that does this sort of things then this lab will be used and you can say this was my final lab that i have done out of all of other labs that you can talk about and that really gives you that solid skills at the end uh, of your practical training 
Now, the best part of cybersecurity training program that we have is it doesn't end over here. We are creating tailored video content. So what happened is this, when you do all these labs, it's a collection of skills and you're doing this in a sequence, but then we are also creating course, a video course that you can use your own home labs by uh, an expert. So this expert is already in the field and they know exactly how they use different type of systems because they're going to be, uh, they have that experience. So it's going to be a collection of different things and you're going to use your home lab systems. And that's very important because you cannot just rely on labs that we give you and you will have to create your own lab system at home to get better skills and get more confident because you're not losing that lab access. It's not uh, basically time-based and you will have it for long term. So this is not gonna end and you will have a membership with us. So as soon as we release videos, we're going to send it to you and you can always come back to the course and you can take the new updated video content from an expert that is doing this uh, on a tailored based training. Now all of this service, you logging into our system, doing the labs step by step, getting all these videos and getting access to the labs, uh, you will have that access available as a premium member. But if you want coaching services where you need help directly from a trainer, you wanna get one-on-one -on -one with them. We don't offer live sessions. It's, it will still be using some sort of communication tools where you can ask a question and they reply to you. And sometimes maybe on the weekend, we can do meetings uh, with professionals. So that is gonna be coaching services. That is not gonna be included in the premium membership. You will have to get a coaching program for that and there will be a different price for that and different cost. So in this document, you can click on this link and submit your information. If you're interested in the coaching services, we will send you the cost and how it works. And basically you're going to be covering the same module, same material, everything will be the same access. But if you want get access to the professionals and you wanna be inside a group, then yes, this will be a different charges than premium membership. If you have any other questions, you can contact support at jobsclashare.org and ask the questions. And if you're interested in cybersecurity, this is one of the most hands-on program you will ever find. And we wish you all the best in this program.